like Dracula is one of my most favorite person because he likes to drink blood. So you don't want to mess with me because I'm taking every one of them horror movies. Dracula is the only one that we know of beside Jesus that lived forever. See, I hear creation groaning. Somebody said, well, Sister Connie, you just do what you want to do? Yeah, do everything I want to do because you know what I found out? I don't want to do stuff, stuff I used to do. It ain't in me to do it no more. So uh, Paul said all things are lawful, just all things not expedient. So see, I find that my want-tos have changed. But what I want to do, I do, and I enjoy life, and I have a good time. And I'm sorry if religious devils don't like it. I'm sorry if they don't like me taking my nieces down to the Malibu to play them video games and holler and shout and eat pizza and sling coke everywhere. I'm sorry. But see, life is like a vapor. And I'm not going to wake up in heaven one day and say, man, I had one life and I spent the whole thing fasting and praying. Oh, that was a good, that was a hundred dollar bill. That was a good one. So what do I do? I like what Smith Wigglesworth said. He said, I've never prayed over 30 minutes. But he said, I've never gone 30 minutes without praying. I, I, I don't go in my closet. I tried it and I just went in there and went to sleep. I tried, you know, with that, uh, what's that Larry fella's name, that Larry guy? Larry Lee, I, I tried doing what he said. I got me a pillow and blanket and everything ready in my closet and got up at 6 a.m. The next thing I knew it was 10, and I'd been in there asleep all morning. I'm too tired to get up and pray at 6 a.m. But there is not a moment that passes by that I'm not conscious of God. There's not a moment that passes by that, 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 that I don't feel His presence, that I, I'm not acknowledging Him. I don't, I don't eat a piece of pizza. We ate a piece of pizza yesterday, and I said, oh, I told my husband, I said, thank you, Jesus is the best pizza I ever had in my whole life. This is good pizza. Oh, it was wonderful. We made friends with a guy that owned a pizza parlor and everything, and we, oh, I said, oh, this is the best pizza I ever, oh, thank you, Jesus. There ain't a, a moment that goes by in my life that I'm not acknowledging God either in my mind with my mouth and my prayers are in just being. Just being. Somebody says the earth needs a visitation. No, the earth needs you. You can be their visitation. I'm a visitation everywhere I go. I'm a visitation waiting to happen. I'm a visitation everywhere I go. Every room I walk in, whether it be a clothing store, a grocery store, whatever, the atmosphere changes everywhere. I, I'm the only one in my town that can go into a restaurant and have 15 people waiting on her at one time because everybody wants to wait on me. They don't know why, but everybody wants to wait. Everybody wants to serve me. Everybody wants to be around me. Everybody wants to look at me and listen to me talk because I'm a visitation. You are a visitation. And everywhere you go, God goes. And people that need a visitation, they don't need God, they need you. Because you're the closest thing to God they'll ever see. They wouldn't know God anyway. You can be their visitation, amen? Well, that was your free part. I'm going to try to get to this. Let me, let me just preach by, let me just preach some by memory. Jesus says very quickly, we're going to talk about tithes and offering. Then we're going to receive an offering, but we're going to receive seed. There are three realms in God, outer court, inner court, holy place. Uh, first the blade, then the corn, then the full air, then the corn. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. Passover, Pentecost, Feast of being gathered. And Paul said, I was caught up into the third heaven. There was a man that fell out of the third loft. The Old Testament, New Testament, the book of the Revelation. God moves in three realms at one time. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. How many of you know we can be right here and today and come up for prayer, and God can be in your yesterday fixing it. 
We can be right here, but God's already in our future. He said the steps of a righteous man have already been ordered. God said, listen, I know my thoughts towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil. And he goes on down to say, I'm bringing you to an expected end. Why is it expected? Because God's already been there. He just come back to get you. So as God comes to the end, he comes back to get you. He's the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and last, all at the same time. So God can be in your present fixing your past so that you don't miss your future. Because he's already been to your future. He's already fixed it for you. It's expected. Your steps have already been ordered by God. So God comes into your present, but at the same time, he can come into your past and be the same to you yesterday, today, and forever because he moves in three realms at one time. Now, there are three realms in everything that God does. There are three realms of giving. There's the outer court giving or the 30-fold giving, which is your tithe. That's just your reasonable service. You ain't doing God no favor by paying him a tithe. Number